what's good everybody it's sugar jayla a and today we're back with another video we're doing a holiday valentine's day theme press on set for a client but we are not using any pink and there's a very 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 small amount of red so the tips i got off of aliexpress they came pre-tinted but when you lay them down they're very faintly tinted as you can see on the press on stands i had a little list of every design i wanted to do to organize myself and get my mind right sometimes i write down every little design i want to do so that's just a tip if you can't remember or if you have a picky client they want 10 different nail designs and they want it specific to the stone so this is to the line you know those girls exist you might have to write down their stuff okay so that's okay that's regular i go in with my eye gel beauty excuse me top coat and no that's not a top coat baby that's a base coat i'm so sorry and i do two layers of that if my nails were any longer i would do three now that that's out i go in with two layers of my polish that i'm using this is from nailed bling supply it is an nb16 or nb18 you can pause and zoom in but this is one of my most popular nudes for my clients they love it um all of my clients don't get nude base as their nails if they don't they end up getting clear then they might want new color and these are the rubber bases that really mimic um, acrylic. So three of the nails had that. And then two of the nails were colorful. This really pretty blue. And then the thumbs were a very pretty lavender. I wanted to do like pastel Valentine's Day. So like Valentine me Easter in, in one combined set. And I do two layers of color across the board. So after that, we should be looking at four layers of product if not five, on the nails. And if I didn't mention before, of course, you cure in between each layer. So now we got our four layers of product, and we're going to start the design. I go in with a silver base because I'm doing a bling French. If I was doing a whole bling nail, I would have did the whole nail. But I'm doing bling French, so I don't need to do the whole nail. And we just put about halfway okay just polish about halfway that's going to be the base so that we don't have gaps in between i'm mixing white into my yellow because i want more of a pastel yellow to go with my other two colors now we're making hearts for our candy heart design i use a dotting tool and i make two dots then i use a liner brush i'm using a shorter one today oh nope that was for a different color for yellow i used the long one and you connect two lines at the middle point at the bottom to basically make the heart so i go with the dots and then i use the brush to basically fill it into my liking and it's literally just to your liking eyeball it until you feel like it just looks good then i did a french nail so i decided to use the yellow since i already had a solid nail of the other two colors then my second heart was alternate on each hand one had a blue and one had yellow and purple this one is blue and that's when i use my other brush just because you know you don't want to keep cleaning keep cleaning your brush that's why it's good to have multiples what to do if your polish wrinkles let's fix it together so first we put acetone on a lint free wipe and we wipe it off it's uncured that's why it wrinkled because it was too thick and so it's going to come right on off the part that may have cured on there and it's stuck we're going to buff it off let's use a very light buffer like a 240 really like buffer and then wipe it with alcohol and it's ready to be redid we're going to use a press on stand the more traditional single press on stands not the one that's together attached and we're going to make sure we have a lighter hand when we're doing it because we're just going to redo it okay make sure that you don't do it too thick when polish wrinkles it could be a variety of things maybe it wasn't in the light long enough maybe your light is rechargeable like mine but it's not strong enough Maybe the polish was too thick, but for whatever reason, we're going to redo it and period. Then we went in with a silver glitter for our bling French so we could make sure it's really thick and opaque. And we're moving on to line our candy hearts. So basically, you want to put a black line around the candy hearts and then a line off to the side. So it literally looks like a 3D effect and you will be seeing me do that but make sure that your line is real nice and thin and this is why press-ons are so forgiving look at how i'm holding it 
I'm just holding it any which way to get my desired look. That's why it's so much easier to do personals to me, to me, than to do a client. Because a client, you know, the nails are attached to the hand. They can only have their hand one way. I can move this personal stand any which way that I want to, to get any which angle that's easiest for me. Easiest on my neck, easiest on my back. I can just manipulate it so many different ways that I can't do a client. But anyway, I just went ahead and lined it. Make sure your line is nice and thin. And then I took one line down to the side. You didn't really see it because I cut it off, but you'll see it at the finish, at the finish look. Then I wrote, I love you, be mine, will you be mine, all in the hearts. Just different sayings, you know, to mimic the candy hearts. We're top coating our, um, what is the color? Purple, our purple nail, our French nail, and our blue nail. We also can cure the hard nail after you wrote the wrote the words in it and top coat that so then we have to make all of our 3d hearts on top of our french nail so when you're doing the um, 3d hearts on the french nail it is the exact same concept of a sweater nail the exact same concept on top of an already um top coated nail you're going to make your dots then take your liner brush connect them in the middle to make a heart if you know how to just draw a heart outright then don't worry about my method just go ahead and draw a symmetrical heart the way you know how okay but my method is two dots with the dotted tool then take the liner brush and connect the dots okay just like you saw me do earlier we're gonna do that all over the french and then we're gonna put it over our paper whatever you got maybe a bowl maybe whatever and we're just gonna pour acrylic on it while it's wet and the acrylic will seep into the gel and give us a 3d resin effect after we cure in the light last nail y'all we're on the last nail <laughs> we are going to do our bling french the first thing i do is take my glue it's linked below available on amazon and walmart and i draw my line i create my smile line because once you got your smile line symmetrical all the rest is just filling in i got a whole mixed bunch of sizes here for my stones too i got ss3 to like ss12 so i'm just getting in where i fit in securing my french line and then filling in the rest all over the silver part and then to the free edge that's why it's important to have a glittery or silver base um underneath anything that's encrusted and bling or blinged out because anywhere you miss a stone a stone fall off any little gap it is so much more forgiving and you will not notice it After we get that covered the way we like, we're going to go ahead and spray it down, period. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spray it down, get the top coat on the section that is exposed nude, and then we're going to put it in our packaging, and it's ready to be shipped. It's one of my favorite from the season, and I hope that y'all enjoy. Catch you in the next one. Bye.